Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. How's it going today? Super excited. I got my Canadian shirt on. Here we go, Montreal. <laughs> this is going to be a marathon of only Canadian artists and um, I'm super excited about this. This is uh, sponsored by Michael. Thank you so much, Michael, for um, getting in touch with me and sending me the links to these bands, uh, the names and I'm really excited. Um, I've done a couple of them, and but yeah, I want to do more. I've done some Martha and the Muffins, Jane Seberry, um, the rest I think I've not heard. But yeah, so if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Typical YouTube, you know, if you like what you see, click that like button, unlike button, subscribe button, you know, whatever you uh, wish. Of course, if you want to see more, we do, uh, my wife and I, uh, we have a uh, Patreon channel. If you want to check it out, we have just completed, I think, our 30, um, was it 33rd or 34th full album, you know? Uh, we can't do full albums on YouTube. We tried and you, they just get blocked, so we stopped doing it. But yeah, if you want to check them out on Patreon, there's a lot to see. And, uh, but yeah, let's get into the video. Thank you, Michael, for sponsoring the video. I do appreciate it. And everybody for being here. Um, I really, really, um, I'm really, really thankful for the support and on your comments and everything. And so, yeah, so let's get into it. We're going to start off with, with Martha and the Muffins. Like I said, this is the, um, this is the song Dan, Dan, the park, Dan, the park. The album has the same name, Dan the Park, from 1983, and it also says, "Every day, it's every day, it's tomorrow." So that's the song. Um, uh, then we're gonna switch to uh, Chalk Circle, The Moralist, and this is the album as The Crow Flies from 2013. So these are all Canadian. Canadian bands. Then we're going to do the Northern Pikes, Snow in June, from the album of the same name. This is from 1990. Um, then Jane Seberry. I, I don't know, but I've not, nobody has confirmed me, but Seberry or Sibberry, but I think it's Seberry. Temple, When I Was a Boy is the album. Uh, from 1993 and the last song we're going to do is Spirit of the West from Five Free Minutes the band Facelift is the album from 1993 oh no Faith Lift not Facelift oh god <laughs> but I think it's like a play on words all right so that's it um thank you so much for being here give me one moment I'll be right back all right, let's go. Here we go with Martha and the Muffins. I think this is my third reaction to um to this band, and I really, really like them. So here we go. Dance for me. Dance for me. 
Don't let love disappear. Come to life, come together. Steal me from my sleep. Until you take it to more than one. Very good, man. <laughs> I like it. I would like to really listen to more, of course. Um, so, but yeah, it sounds. I obviously this sounds very 80s, but they started in the 70s and they've gone all the way to now. And like if you go on Wikipedia, you know, um, I don't know. It's because they it even says here um, they've only had one major international hit. Whatever, man, you know, like it, what is a hit anyways, you know, um, like a song that a lot of people listen to and then that's a hit um i think that's just so stupid to say i hate um magazines you know uh and i used to buy so much guitar magazine but it's so full of crap and um you know these music reviewers they have no idea of music <laughs> um most of them have never like played an instrument they just look at metrics and numbers and what has sold the most i i hate to rate a band by their by their record sales you know and by their uh by their concert tickets uh, i i think every band has it's like for example with my one of my favorite bands right like iron maiden which is very different from this but they have like also one hit which is what was on played on mtv and and that record sold the most but it's like it's one of their worst songs, honestly. I mean, I like the song and everything, but if you compare it to all their material, it's just, it's nothing. It's just something that I guess was on the radio, you know? So that's just, when I hear that, I'm just like super turned off already by the article because I'm like, okay, you have honestly not, you've honestly not analyzed the band enough and because you know what is a hit you know so but what i like this this was very like it had its you know synth the the clap the typical 80s like you know drum effects and um i like them i like i like this band it's it's just very interesting like post it's a little bit of punk in there like the you know the palm muting and um i think it would be interesting like to to listen to a little bit of everything you know it's hard to 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 really know what they're about with one song but this was very good it sounded very 80s and i like 80s music and i think danza park i don't know if that's called dance park or if it's a location i mean there is a photograph of a park uh they are a toronto based uh band so i don't know if it's a park in toronto or something but um yeah so it even it says here alternative pop dance rock punk funk okay like these all these um you know supposedly what they are um but yeah so that's like their hit is echo beach um i guess it got a lot of attention but yeah i don't i just don't buy into that stuff like i sometimes um the sad thing is like when they release the greatest hits, you know, that's like the songs that you get. And then you get a kind of like very morphed version of a band, you know, that what people like instead of sometimes the musicians hate their greatest hits like Radiohead. You know, they hate playing Creep because everybody loves Creep. 
and it's the greatest hit and they literally despise the song this ha that happens with a lot of bands um but yeah this was good Mar martha and the muffins always welcome on my playlist um but i would really have to get into you know listening a, a little bit more but this was a great song okay so let's continue here with the moralist um let's see and uh let's get into it let's see what style this is this is fr this is a newer 2013 well not as new it's already 10 years ago so but let's check it out cool like very bluesy that's just like a a lick that's very catchy and it's crazy because i had to look up this is literally what happened to me they're from ontario by the way this is what happened to me with rush first time i'd heard rush it's so embarrassing because i'm like this metal guy right <laughs> i know so much about music um this was i don't know maybe 10 15 years ago right and then i hear tom sawyer and that's i know i think a lot of people get exposed to rush with that song 
So I listened to Tom Sawyer and I'm like, wow, she really has an amazing voice. And this guy looks at me like with disgust, literally. And he's like, that's a man. That's a man singing, you know, that's Getty Lee. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this little, so I, it just, I don't know, it just didn't click because, and I've heard, you know, people with higher voices, you know, like even the guy from Dream Theater, you know, um, James Labrie. So, so I was so, I was like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. And, uh, but this right now happened the same, the entire song. I thought she has an amazing voice. And then I looked them up. And it's a guy. So see, sometimes your, your your mind just gets fooled by the pitch of someone. But this was a great. I love the do din 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 din. You know the little piano there. Very short solo, but it was enough. You know, it's like it's designed for the radio. You know, so. But as he was really getting into it, that's when they already when they kind of like stopped the solo. I think it was a great song. Um. And uh, it was just, yeah, it was very bluesy. It had this this lick, you know, and um, I really liked it. Really good stuff. And now this is a smaller band. Unfortunately, they only, I, I think they only released, let's see. Mm. Shock Circle. Well, I could be wrong. Oh, no. One, two, three, four albums. So 86, 87, 89. And then in 2006, they released another album. So, but yeah. Unfortunately, not as big, you know. But hey, doesn't matter. So this was, I guess, alternative rock. Um, But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Really good. Cool. I hope there's some fans out there, you know, Chalk Circle. Let me know if you've seen them live. You know, that's what we love in the comment section, you know. Just share your stories, you know. Like, hey, I've seen this band. I actually know them, you know. I live in Ontario. I've seen them, I don't know, somewhere in Canada or the States or wherever, you know. Share your story. So um, we're going to continue with the Northern Pikes. That's another band I've never heard of. Um, but yeah, one se one second. All right, so this band is from, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Saskatoon, uh, Canada. And um, and I l read a little bit about them, and they were in inducted into the Western Canadian Music Hall of Fame on September 30th, my, my birthday, in 2012. That's awesome. Um but yeah, this is, um, so they were active until 1990 and then started recording again in 99 until present. So they're active. They're, they're an active band. So let's check them out. Yeah, they just released an album 2023, Time to Time. But we're going to do Snow in June from 1990. So, all right. So here we go. Oops. Bye. 
very good sound. <clears throat> I got some Pink Floyd vibes there at the end. Just, you know, the solos and the whole, like, drama. And I, I, I love that they don't sound 90s at all. Like, I guess the 90s, you know, the real grunge happened a, a bit later in the 90s. But this is a nice, thick rock sound. I like that they solo. They, um, I like the voice. The bass was very cool, like, doing, like, very cool... Like licks, the drums was constantly kind of like changing it up. It just sounded very, very good, very entertaining. And um, also, I did read this is um, their most successful album. Uh, the song, um, I guess, uh, the, uh, but like I said in the first on the first uh, you know track, um, for me. I could be like, maybe this is their best song, but maybe not for others, you know. But I mean, this is like a platinum record in Canada, and it did really, really well. Just this whole album. So really cool. I, I really liked it. Um, I'm really interested. Also, a smaller band, you know. these all, all these bands are a bit on the smaller side, but, you know. So Jane, um, uh, before we go over... Let me see. Now I'm curious how you how you spell this, uh, Jane. Look, I ha I do like this little. Um, uh, not how you spell, how you pronounce it. Um, and there is a little. <laughs> let's see. Jane Sibbery. Sibbery. Okay. So I was correct. I did. I said. I did say Sibiri, and then I said Sibari, but it was not Barry Sibiri. So Jane Sibiri. Um. Well, yeah, the Northern Pikes. I, I don't know. Maybe um. I'm gonna listen to them. You know, a little bit more, like maybe off camera. You know, but really nice. But yeah, let's move. Um, let's move uh, to Jane Temple. This is um, from when I was a boy, 1993. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds. Um, let's go. Uh, can we... uh, can we... can we... You call that hard You call this cool That's nothing It's not.
Okay. This is really freaking special. Like this is, this is when I kind of like you know raise an eyebrow. This music is very unconventional. This is like just like what I look for when I listen to music. It's a little bit more outside the box, outside the norm. I love that she has different like loops going on. Just really cool chord progressions. The bass comes in. On, at random times just giving it a little bit of body you know and the whole like dun, dun, and then dun, dun, and then dun, 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 like the whole like it's so unconventional it's just so much more interesting it's just really i don't know like i don't know what to expect i can't really predict anything and that's what i love most of the music and unfortunately that's the way it is just music that's very commercial it's very predictable i really i literally know like that there's going to be like a baga baga boom you know even and i'm and i'm not a drummer but it's just like what works what people go they go to a safe route um we're gonna do a bridge here we're gonna chorus it here we're gonna play a little solo um let's not go too far um but when when I hear something like this, it's just more out there, like Kate Bush, Susan Vega, you know. I don't know. It's just a little bit more artistic, um, for me. Um, it's not sh just so, so simple, you know. I like that. I just like un That's why I like progressive music or avant garde or you know art house because it's just, and I don't mind listening to you know the synth music or to lounge or electronic music at all like this is more on the electronic side it's not so much a rock but the, i love drum and bass and you know this is more like that kind of route it's just very unpredictable and i think that's what attracts me there very much it's very good it's just like a little bit like bjork but Without the weird, you know, singing, I love Bjork, don't get me wrong, but I love her weird way of phrasing. Um, but the music is reminds me a little bit of Bjork. It's just very, yeah, like that unpredictability, you know, I love that in music. great track man this is great um wow this was a great this was so far the song that has i don't know just moved me the most like not like moved but just like where i'm like oh you got my attention here you know not that the others were not good they were very good but this was just outstandingly good you know so Okay, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, 
I, sh I should do some reactions with Alexia. I, I literally sent this to her right away so she can listen to it. She gets like a little ping. Like Nick has sent you a song <laughs> so she can listen to it in the car. Um, she just drives a lot f f to work and back. She commutes. Um, she's not a driver, <laughs> um, which there's nothing wrong with being a driver. I was a driver for a while. Um, it was fun at first, but then it got very stressful. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't do that. Um, I can't do it. Um, I, I have to have, be in an, I, I do, I'm an office guy, you know, driving is just out there with all the crazy people that drive and uh, it's too, it's too stressful. Um, so spirit of the West, this is the last band we're going to do, uh, five free minutes. Um, oh my God. I said before I said five free minutes was the band. No, this is the song and this is from faith lift and not facelift. Um, okay. Uh, give me one moment. All right, here we go with five free minutes. And the song is five minutes and 57 seconds. Here we go. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Four minutes and one second. I, I saw the other one below. Here we go.
Very good. You know what this reminded me of? It reminded me of like a little bit like R uh, REM. Um, I don't know, like that kind of alternative. Like, what, what year was this? Um, give me one second here. Spirit of the West, and this was from oh ninety three. Well, yeah, I guess. Like when that album came out, you know, I the only album that I know is the one that using uh, losing my religion is on, and it it had a little bit of that sound, you know, like that nineties alternative. Um, it was a great song. Nothing like I would like put on my playlist. I don't know. It was just too. Or well, maybe, you know, maybe after a while, you know, maybe I have to listen to more. But I do want to listen more to more Jane Sibbery. And let's do that right now. I, I was looking. I don't and I don't want to brush him off completely. Spirit of the West, I think, was a good it was a good song. And I I like that also. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Is that the first song? Oh yeah, it's the first song of the album. So, and I like also that um, Michael didn't choose like the most famous songs of of the bands, you know. Um, so I'm gonna try and do another. Um, not try. I'm gonna do another Jane song, but I'm. I don't want to pick something like super famous, you know. Uh, maybe something more underground. Maybe something not that popular. Um, let's see here. This one looks okay. This one looks from the album. Oh, all right. Concert for St. Stephen's. Anytime. This looks interesting because is this? Oh, that's a compilation. Okay. Is this live? Doesn't look live. Any time. Okay, now I'm a little bit worried. Um, I don't want it to be live. You know, let's do... Okay, let's do this one. All the Candles in the World. It's from the same album that we did. I really like that style. Let's revisit it. Okay, all right. So this is, again... Jane Sibbery. When I was a boy, all the candles in the world. There you go. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. It actually has a little bit more plays than Temple. So let's go. And how many of us will there be? More than we are now. And where will we come from? The rivers, the oceans. The ends of the darkest inlets, the lightest colored seas. The drum and bass. Would not be enough, would not be enough to match the fever in my soul and the fervor in my heart and the darkness that I feel as I'm going, 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 going. of despair as we're going 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 down she 
she has just an amazing band. Uh, this album is very, it's just so good. Uh, the bass again, the guitar, you know, with the cry baby, wah, wah. But I love that it's just like, she speaks silence, and then she speaks, it's so freaking unpredictable. It's just a pleasure. Like it, that type of music just puts a smile on my face. Like the way she harmonizes with her own voice in a speaking way, you know. It's so cool. It's very good. This is very, very good. Very cool. I I I, I love that I can say, oh, I've discovered something that I really appreciate. And I would totally listen to this in my own time. You know, it's just I I just like music that's a little bit out there in every music, you know, when I listen to guitar music, um, I there's I don't like that's why I'm, I guess I do love the blues and I love the blues scale. Don't get me wrong, but just listening to blues is so predictable because it's always the same pattern. It's almost the same chords. It's the same scales. And it's just like as a, as a guitar player, I can't do it, man. It's like I do it. Yes. When, if I want to be 100% safe, then I'm not going to mess up my improv. Yes, I'll use a blue scale, but it's just so predictable, you know. I can't, man. It's, I know I get a lot of flack for it, but that's me. You know, I just like music that's that challenges my, my brain in a way, you know. That I'm like, whoa, I did not see that coming, you know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 that's just how I am in, in every way, even classical music, you know. Very good. Very cool. Well, there you have it. Thank you so, so much again, Michael, for this Canadian adventure. Long live Canada. Thank you so much. I wanted to say, of course, uh, thank you to everyone watching. Um, Frank, if you're watching, thank you so much for getting in touch with me the other day. I do appreciate it. I actually bought this shirt when Frank, uh, with Frank, uh, when we, when we were in Montreal and, um, he took us through, you know, the city and it was super nice to to meet him. And he's just a very nice guy. And he told me, hey, I really watch all the videos. So I wanted to say thank you, Frank, for watching them and taking your time. And, and he's like, stop releasing videos, man. I can't keep up. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, But I, I literally told him, you know, it's very, um, uh, for me, it's a great way of, releasing stress and i'm sharing you know with friends you know all you guys and uh, it really is an amazing thing it really helps me get through a lot of difficult things like yesterday actually i had um 
I hadn't called my mom in like a month. And yesterday I called her and I'm so happy I did. And I think a, a reason I called her was because I spoke with with Frank. Uh, not that he kind of like told me, hey, go ahead, call her. But I just, it made sense. And uh, I'm so happy I did. And she's doing well. And she was so happy to hear from me. And uh, so, yeah. So it's just like there's a lot of stuff I'm going through, you know. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the video. I hope it was entertaining. Um, I hope I'm not going to get a lot of flack for because of my um, blue <laughs> anti-blues. I do love the blues. It's just like, you know, after, you know, 20 songs, then pretty much you've heard it all, you know. And so for some people, it's that's okay, you know. Um, but I've just like, I don't know, I've... I've never been, I don't know, I guess I've never, I've never had the real deal. And I've heard pretty much all the guitar plays you guys mentioned. And it's just like, as a guitar player, and knowing, you know, pretty much all about theory of, of blues, and I don't know, it's just like, my, not my thing, you know, but again, you guys listen to maybe my guitar players, and you're like, that sucks, you know, so I totally get it. It's just, Everyone has their tastes, you know, so. So, again, like I said, thank you so much for being here, and we'll see each other in the next video.